Central Texas school districts are faced with extensive structural damage to buildings following the winter storm, triggering some cancellations. Many are discussing now what school will look like for the coming days. KXAN's Caitlin Carmen takes us inside of one of Leander ISD's elementary schools. We also had a leak here. Inside Mason uh, Elementary uh, School's uh, kitchen, a plumber kitchen. has found nine busted pipes. This whole kitchen has been flooded two or three times now. Leander ISD spokesperson Corey Ryan says five district schools are faced with similar damage, but the aftermaths of the winter storm stretch further than that. Parts of Leander are without water completely. The entire city of Leander is with under a boil water noise. Water is the biggest concern for Leander ISD right now. If a school doesn't have water, then it can't open. We don't have running toilets. We can't provide food. Ryan says 8,000 Leander ISD students rely on free and reduced lunch. Their last meal from the district was two Thursdays ago. We're very worried about the things that our schools provide that are basic needs for kids and for families. It's been over a year dealing with COVID-19 and now another full-blown effort to get schools back up and running again. This is a crisis in a crisis. Caitlin Carmo, KXAN News. And Leander ISD will remain closed this Monday and Tuesday because of the water loss and building damage. Now, the district says food services will be available for all students starting on Monday at all middle schools from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Leander ISD has also just released official numbers. The district says 17 schools have damage, five with significant damage, and 13 without running water.